We're going to have a look at the cost plan today. I opened the cost plan tab on the ribbon by clicking cost plan and we see all the groups which would allow us to set up and measure, print out and do various other functions on this job's cost plan. I'll start with the project particulars. It's important to remember that you need to complete as much upfront information as you can at the time that you start your project. So because we created this job um, a couple of days ago, uh, we did fill in the details that were required on the front screen. Um, I'd like to just point out that if we press F1, we get context sensitive help, which is for this window, the project particulars cost plan. It describes what you should enter for each of the inputs on the screen. We have to enter um, program assumptions, uh, the dates for the project. Uh, these I'm going to set this one to today's date. And I'm going, no, in fact, I'd like to set it for the future. Um, I'll show you why in a minute. And I'm going to change my construction commencement date to, let us say, the <clears throat> 15th of January 2018. And let's make this project last for a year until the 14th of December next year. Right. Now we'll have a look at the cost adjustments window. I've ticked cost adjustments to say yes I want the cost plan to calculate escalations. Um, we have a number of months from now until the tender date which will give me a number of months of 1.64 uh, from today's date at an escalation of 12% per annum. I'll say escalation, okay, let me change these so that I can later illustrate to you uh, where the percentages are used. Let us say that this one will be 11% and this one will be 12%. You'll notice that the uh, second set of escalations has now changed to 12%, but if I really want it to be 11%, I can't do it in in only one case, the two are linked. Did you notice that? So please just remember that. Now, <clears throat> we can set up a list of consultants that are working on this job. Let us say um, that we're just going to add uh, some civil engineers and we're going to add some um, consulting engineers and let us add a landscape consultant. That's enough. Okay, now we can set up professional fees. You'll see there's an option here to say you want to have a fixed amount or a percentage value. So it doesn't matter which one you choose, whether it is a fixed amount or a percentage value, you enter the amount here. So let us say professional fees are going to be 12%, project manager fee is going to be um, 9%, and let us say that disbursements, I've gone too far, disbursements will be 3% of the uh, construction cost. And there is a control tip which will show us how the fees are calculated, okay, on the construction cost. Then we'll go to subcontract percentages. Um, we have a default markup percentage, default builder's work percentage, and default sundries percentage. I'm just going to set those to 5%, 4%, and 3%. And I'm going to click Apply Defaults. And I'll show you in a minute what the result of that was. Exclusions, um, let us say, all soft furnishings. Anything that is excluded from this cost plan should be listed here. It actually prints on the cost plan so that you have a record that those things are not included in the cost that is calculated. 